Invented in the mid-19th century, the plastic boom is relatively recent. As a result, more than half of all plastics have been manufactured since 2000, and the current production seems small in view of the industry's projections. This is why this cheap, flexible synthetic polymer is everywhere. Industry accounts for less than 1% of world production. Electronics, 4%. Transportation, 7%. Consumer products, 10%. Textiles, 14%. Building and construction, 16%. Other, 12%. But the largest share is packaging at 36%. Packaging, often single use, is the symbol of a throwaway culture. Plastic, mainly produced from fossil fuels, is contaminating our ecosystems, in particular the oceans and the soil. Every year, 10 million tonnes of plastic waste ends up in the ocean, the equivalent of a truckload a minute. And in the soil, of the 450 million tonnes of plastic produced each year, about a third end up in the soil or inland waters. In our everyday contact with plastic, we are exposed to a cocktail of substances that put our health at risk. This invisible hazard may take different forms. For adults, Thyroid disorders, cancer, diabetes, obesity, fertility disorders, developmental disorders of the unborn, and for children, hyperactivity, attention deficits, low IQ, asthma, obesity, early puberty. Plastic is also a danger to the climate. From the petrochemical industry, Plastics manufacturing emits carbon dioxide, methane and other greenhouse gases. The production of polyester used in fabrics or textiles alone emits the equivalent of 706 million tonnes of CO2 per year. The equivalent of 1.6 billion barrels of petrol or the fuel consumption of the United States for two years. To solve the plastic crisis, we need to reduce the production of and our dependence on plastic. Fortunately, there are solutions. Incentive pricing, instructions for reuse, bulk sales, eco-design, prohibition of single use, sorting and recycling. And civil society is mobilizing all over the world. In the Break Free From Plastic movement, 1,800 organizations have come together to protect the environment. Find the complete plastic atlas on the Heinrich Boll Foundation website.